Hi everyone and welcome for this Sunday tutorial. This time we are going to take a look on how I'm going to create some bass down with some uh, ice effect. And for that I'm going to use some new kind of stuff like uh, some new projects from Green Stuff World, some pretty old projects from Green Stuff World like Crystal um, and that's all. At the end, I'm going to show you my Votan army. I do this bay for my Votan army and before the end of uh, months, I'm going to show you how I paint this uh, Votan army with some slap shop bays. And after that, I'm going to show to my boss on Patreon how I um, make evolve this uh, level. Uh, I level up the paint with some um, simple uh, method. I'm going to let you with this tutorial, but just before, <laughs> as you know, uh, don't hesitate to uh, like this uh, video, comment uh, to help me to reach more people, and don't hesitate to come and support me on Patreon if you like the content I propose to you. Let's go for the tutorial. To create uh, some frozen base. I'm going to use um, to have something very clean as base. I'm going to use some mastic plastic. Uh, you can use all kind of mastic plastic. So at the beginning, I'm just going to apply um, very simply on all the different base before I'm going to use my paper to uh, push uh, this mastic on all the base. So now I'm going to apply on all the bases to have something the more clean I can. You can remove the excedents just with your finger or take about uh, that and just take a paper to, to, to remove all who are around the base. can always wait it will be totally dry so you can remove uh, very easily all you have around the base So shit's happened, as you can see, and that's a big mistake, but whatever, that's worked pretty well and just move. You can always clean the surfaces later. So what I need and what I search to reproduce is an, um, surfaces who are going to be like ice. So something perfectly uh, clean and perfectly smooth. When the base is totally clean, I come back with some sandpaper and just finishing to clean the surfaces.
just before that i just fix a magnet in my back just to be uh, to can um, move my miniatures more easily To fix my magnet, I just put some super glue, uh, just a few parts of green stuff, and one more, some super glue. I put my magnet and I push it to be sure it's not going to uh, go outside my base. And it will be really, really easy to fix on a very uh, magnetic surfaces like that, so I can more easily paint them. And now I'm going to prime everything in grey. Um, you can always uh, make it with um, a hairspray. Uh, I just use my airbrush because it's more comforting and easy for me. But you can always spray everything directly in grey. That's work pretty well. So as you can see, I show you one by one, but you can always make it on the larger um, series uh, just by using a um, box in metal and prime all on the box in metal because I magnetized every one of my base. And now I come back with some Irbara turquoise, uh, mixing with a uh, middle of uh, medium airbrush from Army Painter. Take care to use always the medium who come with the same range because the composition, the chemical composition can be different and that can create some very strange things into the bottle. So I'm going to apply a very covering uh, layer on all my different bases. And now I'm going to apply some Twilight Sky in the opposite, uh, in one direction, I mean. Uh, we are going to be the, op uh, the direction of my shadow. And now I come back with some ionic blue in opposite of the blue, the dark blue I already put. And now uh, I'm going to use my brush to make all my uh, border of base in black. I'm going to try to make it the more clean I can. Try to don't reach uh, these surfaces. And if you you do some mistake, we can we are going to come back just in few minutes uh, to um, to pushing more highlight with our brush on the base. So don't hesitate to manage your time. Uh, for example, at this moment, I remove from. Uh, for example 15 circle um, to five for two to, to, to five base just because the step with my brush is more long so i prefer to manage uh, my motivation by finishing uh, some few uh, base uh, before i continue on the next one By the way, uh, when I finish my uh, five, uh, for example, uh, base in black, uh, probably the first one will be uh, totally dry so I can continue the next step or pushing a second layer if I think my black is not enough covering. And now we are going to come back with some white with the brush and we are going to make every edges of all the base 
of uh, the base so all the um, edges of the base like that and we are going by the way to create some uh, imperfection into the eyes just by pushing our white in few different directions always focus on the way you put uh, your highlight but you can create some few imperfection into um, into the, the ice that's always welcome you can by the way tap your brush to create once again more imperfection into the this glass effect It's always a, a good um, exercise, um, a good practice to uh, have a better uh, paint and brush control. Because even if it's an exercise, every one of your mistakes is going to create a nice effect. So, so and now to giving more life, I'm going to use this resin crystal from Green Stafford and glue them with super glue directly on some few base. If you don't have this and you don't want to buy it, you can always use this kind of base and directly uh, cut them to uh, obtain this kind of result. Not exa exactly the same, but same kind. So take care of your eyes and you can just cutting and glue them in my case i'm just going to use the the one i already buy we can glue uh, one or three or uh, five but what i need is diversity into my different base so i'm going to try to have something different on every base So in the last step will be just to add some uh, brilliant uh, varnish, a very, very gloss uh, to have the last aspect we want on our base. Uh, so a very, very gloss uh, varnish. I apply my uh, gloss varnish everywhere on all the different surfaces of the base, but not, you can see all the all around the black to hesitate to put a very very big surface We can always use some uh, transparent resin for this kind of effect, but I mean, uh, I think it's a little bit too much complicated for a so simple uh, exercise. And for me, it's not necessary, but if you want, you can, by the way, and I can probably do it if I want, uh, but more in a character's miniatures, we are going to have a more complicated base.
and some few last points I'm come back with titanium white pigment I'm just to pushing some um, effect of um, of snow on some few parts. By the way, I can always come back later with some few gloss varnish again, just to uh, give more glossy effects to my pigment. But when it will be, this first layer will be totally dry. So to create some diversity uh, between my different base, I'm going to use this crackle paint from games uh, from Green Stuff World. Sorry. So I'm going to put a huge amount of, of a huge quantity of these because uh, if that's working the same way than uh, the other crackle paint, we need a lot to have very large crackle effects. After we apply, we just have to wait, that's totally dry, to have the crackle effect. I try to push a large amount of this uh, project uh, around the crystal in resin, just to try and to see if that effect is going to give the sensation uh, the crystal is going to come out the uh, floor not sure it's going to work but we need to try to be uh, to be sure that work or not Here is the result. I really hope you enjoy. This is pretty easy to do if you um, take care about every different step. Um, and to be honest, you can sometimes just squeeze some step uh, to have something more quick to do. And the um, effect will be pretty good. Uh, the most important thing is the, the different uh, small and different crystal on the um, base. The gloss varnish. Um, and the color we are going to go from uh, dark blue uh, to turquoise to white. Remember the white is really really important. So the base is totally dry and now I'm going to fix my minis because I fix with uh, small uh, little uh, metal things and I'm going to fix it to be sure the eyes is going to go in the direction of the light of my base and for that I just have to take a drill and make that to fix
and now just to uh, make a, a junction between my minis and my base I come back just with some few pigments to put this directly on the foot to make a junction between the minis and the miniature, the uh, and the base. And here is the final result after I base everything on uh, the ice uh, effect. By the way, I'm adding some uh, pigment on uh, the foot to create a transition and junction between the base and the miniature. So it's down. I really hope you enjoy this kind of tutorial about this ice base. Don't hesitate to share with me on Instagram, Facebook uh, by tagging myself directly in your post and show me your way to do my tutorial. That's always welcome. You can always mix with your techniques, any kind of techniques and uh, give me some feedback about the methods. Uh, by the way, you can comment this uh, video by asking your question. Don't hesitate to uh, share with your friend and follow me on Twitch. I do a live painting every Thursday and Friday for two, two times by week at minimum. I try and uh, you can always uh, find me on patreon if you want to support me and have more content uh, a lot of time that's going to be tutorial about how to push your level in a better way uh, there are a lot of content for orcs and many 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 things thanks again for watching and see you soon for the next tutorial bye bye